Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome to Godot Basics. It's really important to understand how this scene tree over here works. Every scene has one root node, and every other node in this scene is going to be a child of this node here. So if we, if we click on this node 2D, and we right click and add a child node, we're going to add a sprite node. Again, a sprite is just how we can display an image to the screen. So I'll click on my sprite node, and I'll drag in a texture, I'll drag my player.png into the texture field here. That way we can see my player. Now back over here in the scene tree, we can do a few things. First of all, you can name any nodes that you'd like. So I can rename my sprite to player if I'd like. That way I can keep better track of it. And if I hover over it, it'll still tell me that this is a sprite node. Now this player sprite is a child of this node 2D. So this node 2D has the player as a child, and the player's parent is the node 2D. You can see that by this little line over here. So we can follow from the player, take the line up, and we see that its parent is node 2D. And that's going to be really important in just a second. If we take our player here, you're going to notice that in the inspector, it has a bunch of settings specific to the sprite itself, how it should draw itself. And then it also has the same settings as a node 2D. Every 2D node will have these settings here, including this transform category. This transform category describes the position, rotation, and scale of the node. So again, I have my player selected, and I can change the position of the player by editing these values. For instance, I can move the player to the right by changing this x value to 10, and it will move. I can also use the move tool here, and you'll see if I move the player to the left, the x value decreases. If I move the player up, the y value decreases. If I move the player down, the y value increases. And we can click this little reset button to reset the position back to the default values. We can also, of course, rotate this by changing the rotation slider, and that'll rotate the player. And we can change its scale. For instance, we can make it two times as big by entering two here. And of course, we can just reset these to the defaults by clicking those little arrows. Now here's the caveat. The position of the player, if I move it down here, for example, is relative to its parent. So if we go to our node 2D, our node 2D also has a transform. It has a position, rotation, and scale. And its position is zero. But if I move this node 2D, let's say I move it up, you'll notice that the player is also moving. And that's because the player is a child of this node 2D over here in the scene tree. So since the player is inside of this node 2D, whenever I move the node 2D, the player also moves with it. So the position of the player here is simply relative to the position of its parent, of the node 2D in this case. So if I move him up here, and then I click my node 2D and move my node 2D around, my player will move, but he's going to stay that distance from its parent, from the node 2D. We can also select the node 2D, and we can rotate it, which will rotate all of its children as well. You'll notice that the node 2D is rotating, and so is the player around this point. I'm just going to reset these values here, and I'll go to my player and reset its position too, so everything is centered. Let's add another node. I'm going to right-click on my node 2D and add another child node, and I'll add another sprite. This sprite I'm going to name tree, and I'll select that tree sprite, and drag in my tree.png image into the texture area. So now we have two sprites. You'll notice that the tree has a parent being the node 2D, and the player still has its parent being the node 2D. And the node 2D now has two children. So if I select my tree, and I move it to the left, and I select my player, and I move it to the right, it all works normal. And when I select my node 2D and move that, both of them are going to move, because they're both children of the node 2D. Similarly, if the tree was a child of the player, it would work the same way. So we can take our tree node and drag it into the player node, and now we have a few different levels to our scene tree. The tree's parent is the player, and the player's parent is the node 2D. So if I select my tree, I can move it around wherever I want. If I select my player, I can move it along, except now the tree is also going to move along with the player, because the tree is a child of this player node. And if I move the node 2D, they are still both going to move, of course. So that's how this node structure over here works. The children of a node are affected by the settings of its parent, in most cases. There are a few exceptions based on the types of nodes you're using for some of the settings in the node. But as a general rule of thumb, that's how all of the settings work for all your nodes. And the other important thing to get out of this video is that every node 2D, including node 2Ds and sprites in this case, 
have a transform component, which describes the position relative to the parent. I hope this helps some of you out. Thank you all so much for watching.